Good day everyone, I am Val de la Cruz and today I am going to introduce a virus called Yag Secta Ship Retrovirus or JSRB for short. In this presentation, we are going to discuss the following. Let's start first with the classification. JSRB is underground riboviria which means it is an RNA virus. Next rank is Kingdom Farinarvirae, Phylum Arthrovirae and class Reptravirisitis known to encode reverse transcriptase. The order is Orthoviralis. These are single-stranded RNA that replicates through DNA. Family is Retroviridae. It means transcription is in reverse pattern. For genus, it is Veta retrovirus by having a centric spherical nucleocapsid. And this species, once again, is the Yagshaktaship retrovirus. So now let us learn its history. JSRB was recognized during 1890s in South Africa where herd of sheep experienced dyspnea. Hence, the name of the virus was called Yag Shakti because in Africans, Yag means chase and Sikti means sickness. When combined, it refers to chase sickness that sheep experience when breathing heavily under respiratory distress. Generally, retroviruses are 8200 nanometer in diameter with spherical to conical shaped capsid. The virus is enveloped, composing virus encoded glycoprotein spikes. While this nucleic material here is the genomic RNA that you will see in the next slide. So, this is the genome structure of JSRB, which ends are both bounded by long term terminal repeat. This LTR allows encoding of the reverse transcriptase and integrase on different locations of the genome. So there are four genes that encode the viral structural proteins. They are GAG, which encodes matrix capsid and nucleocapsid, the PRO, which encodes aspartic protease, followed by the POL, that encodes reverse transcriptase and integrase, and ENV for the surface and transmembrane glycoproteins. So here is an open reading frame X that you can also observe in the genome, but its function is still undefined. The Agshecta ship retrovirus is known to cause a highly contagious disease among ovines called ovine pulmonary adenocarcinoma. This is transmitted via aerosol and primarily targets type 2 pneumocytes and clara cells. This also attacks the lymphocytes and myeloid cells, causing neoplastic growth through its envelope protein's oncogenic property. For inactivation of this, ENB protein promotes signaling cascades for proliferation and malignant transformation of cancer cells. So next is the replication cycle. The replication cycle of JSRB starts from the initial attachment of the viral particles, ENB glycoprotein to HIL2 receptor. Upon endocytosis, the viral capsid degrades, allowing release of viral RNA and enzymes in the cytoplasm. So reverse transcription of the viral RNA is then activated with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme, and then the single-stranded RNA genome will be transcribed into the double-stranded DNA form as it enters the host nucleus. So this integrase here will be responsible in cleaving the host DNA and attach it with the viral DNA. Using RNA polymerase and normal transcription factors inside, it would create a copy of viral RNA called provirus. The provirus will then be translated via ribosome, creating viral proteins. This will undergo self-assembly before it buds out of the host cell membrane. And through maturation phase, the yag to ship retrovirus particle will develop its new envelope layers. So OPAs consist of long incubation period that ranges from 1 to 3 years. That's why this virus is often seen in adult ships. And an infected animal exceeds dyspnea and watery nasal discharge, which is diagnosed with the help of wheelbarrow testing. This is done as diagnosing OPA in ships can only be confirmed with necropsy. So unfortunately, there is no vaccine or treatment yet, but using preventive measures like strict isolation, stringent quarantine on imported ships, scheduled disinfection of enclosures, and humane slaughtering can reduce exposure of the virus. Thank you for watching.